Welcome to my channel folks. Today we are going to talk about a tricky subject of automatically tagging your AWS resources. Say for example you have a lot of EC2 instances started and there are associated security groups, ENIs, elastic block storages and all those things. How do you keep track of all these things? How do you know which resource is what, which application? How do you know that this cost is to be associated with this application because of this resource? So tagging is one of the most primary things that AWS enforces you to do so that you know easily how and where the cost has to be associated and how and where you need to apply your security restrictions based on tags and all those things. Then there is no easy way to do it. So today I'm going to demonstrate how you can automatically tag your EC2 instance and security groups using Lambda functions. Say for example, you have a Lambda function configured and overnight you can trigger it and then what this lambda function is going to do is it is going to scan for all the resources in your environment and then see whether there is a particular app name or a particular environment name is there so it will apply a set of global tags which must be universal across your accounts and then it can apply some set of uh, application specific tags say for example your organization has a policy to apply an organization name across all the resources then you apply that after doing that then you go ahead and apply your application specific tags for example the application in production will have a backup time of 14 days, a retention of 14 days, whereas in a test environment, the retention will be probably one day or something lesser than that. So let us go ahead and see how we can implement something like this in our account. Here in this GitHub article, I have detailed the process that we are going to follow. Typically, what we are going to do is we are going to write a couple of files which are called as the global tags and app tags, which are going to be in a particular format so that our lambda function can process it and we are going to store this uh, files into our s3 bucket i have already created an s3 bucket and created a couple of folders called as common tags and app tags and all the necessary uh, generic account wide or global tags are going to into this folder if i go in there will be a folder called a uh, file called as a common tags and if i go back under app tags or each apl application will have its own separate configuration with its separate environment wise data and all other specific information here so once we have done that and put it sold into your S3 bucket, what we are going to do is we are going to use a Lambda function and that Lambda function is going to be triggered by a CloudWatch event trigger. You can run it every day, every fortnight or whatever convenient time that you feel like. So this Lambda is going to pick up the information from the S3 and it is going for scan the, all the EC2 resources and security groups. I've just taken an example of a couple of resources. Since this is a Lambda function, you can add any resource that you want. For example, an EBS volume or an RDS database or elastic load balancers, anything that you can think of. So it is going to cycle through all those resources and it is going to apply your global tags and then it is going to apply any application specific tags. So for example, if I go ahead and look at how my global tags are going to look like, I'm just going to say my global tags are business number and project number, which project is going to create these resources and what is going to be the backup schedule for most of the resources there. So these are the three sample tags that we are going to apply today for all the resources in EC2 and uh, security groups. And if I go to my application specific tag, I'm going to call my application name as Mystique and then application code is going to be this value and app owner is going to be some email address and the cost center is associated with that with this application is this one so these are the set of uh, application specific tags we are going to apply for this demonstration what i have also done is i've just created a couple of resources for sample purposes so you can see here there are two instances ec2 instances and one of them i have given the app name as mystique already because we need to apply some application specific information so that has to be some way to identify which resources for which application so you can use an app name or an app code or any of these variables which are unique so that that resource can be identified and the necessary tags for that resource can be applied and apart from that all the global tags that we see here will be applied to both the resources so the other ec2 instance doesn't have any tags at all so let us see what happens when we finish running the script and what is the output Likewise, if I go to my security groups, there are close to six security groups there and only one of them has a tag called as app name and all the security groups don't have any tags at all. So let us go ahead and run this Lambda function. Here I have pre-configured a Lambda function. If you have been following this channel, you will be seeing how to configure a Lambda function, how to set up the role. Here the role will be requiring uh, described resources and create and delete tag permissions also in addition to the usual CloudWatch logs and S3 access. So the most important thing is uh, here I'm going to say this is going to be my bucket name that is uh, my, what is this is going to, I'm sorry this is the one that I was looking for this is my tag source bucket 
and then what is the prefix that we have here in the prefix is nothing but uh, the, the parent directory of where the files are so my app specific tags are going to be under app tags and my global tags are going to be under common tags so that is what we are going once we do this there is no other changes that you need to do in the script you just go ahead and run it so since this is a sample configuration i'm just going to click on test i'm not going to configure the cloudwatch events as you can see there was a previous attempt that i ran it and then there is the results are there so it shows that what tags are applied to which resource and it gives a nice descriptive information here also so if you are going to process it through sns or some kind of an uh, dashboard system you can take the output of this uh, lambda function and process the logs and see which resource have been tagged and which resource have not been tagged so if i go to my ec2 instance and refresh my screen here and you see here the global tags are applied which are nothing but the same thing that we see here business number project number and schedule that has been applied here if i go to this server in fact you will have more tags for example in addition to the business number and project number we also have an app code and then the app owner and then the cost center which we saw here this set of tags are also applied to the server likewise if i go to my security groups let us go and choose this one now and you can see here there is a new tags added Whereas if I go to this one, which is having the app name tag, you will have the full set of tags that are in addition to the usual uh, three that globally that are getting applied. So that is how you tag automatically your resources and uh, keep your uh, compliance status in your account. If you would like to do this in your account, go ahead, contact us through our contact us page. We will be happy to help you in setting it up in your accounts. Thanks for watching. Happy learning.